Um, hmm. Do, 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 Apothecary horse traders. That's probably what I want to play. Maybe smugglers. Let's get rid of smugglers. It will. <laughs> he said he wanted to veto the smugglers. The other thing that I was considering, or the other things I was considering were uh, militia and develop, because I don't think I have a great feel for develop. Anyway, uh, we're going to start off with uh, an Apothecary Wishing Well engine. And he's probably going to do the same thing. No, he goes for develop. Okay, I have one copper and an estate left in my deck, so I can successfully wish for this 100% of the time. I want a Horse Traders. should be really good for this deck. Um, let's see. I've, ha I've seen three coppers and two estates. Hmm. Well, I've got coppers, my apothecary, my horse traders. Horse traders would be the only thing that I would actually really like to see. So we're going to go for that. Not so sure about the develop, but, uh, you know, maybe. He's going to need to get a source of plus buy at some point. Now I want to get a second horse traders before I get a workers village. And then I'm going to get a workers village mm -hmm. af next after that. Sure, dude. Um, apothecary and second horse traders. <laughs> actually, militia shouldn't hurt this too much, and if they get the horse traders in their hand, can actually even help quite a bit. So uh, I don't think that's going to be too too strong here. Uh, I do want to keep open the possibility of... He's getting a lot of wishing wells here. But I want to keep the possibility of gardens open. Uh, the thing about apothecary engines is they tend to choke and stall. He still hasn't gotten a source of plus buy yet. He has developed for, for gains. Uh, and he hasn't in any way increased his uh, buying power from the beginning of the game. This is... Part of the problem Apothecary can have is you cycle real well and then you got to stop and mm. get some horse traders at some point or something like that. Not necessarily horse traders. Uh, okay, so I want to do... This is really important. So I want to have this Wishing Well and this Apothecary. Play the Apothecary to draw the estate. Um, since that's just one card, it'll be drawn on the draw of the Apothecary. And then it's got four cards to find well, copper, since I already have my potion. Then I can set up the wishing well after that. So, uh, this is tactically very important. I need to play the apothecary now. And, okay, I drew all that stuff. I want a horse traders, and there were two out of four. Uh, didn't happen. So, we're going to go for, for uh, apothecary here anyway. It would have been huge if I could have gotten that, because I could have gotten them my workers' village as well. But now apothecaries are going to run out fairly quickly, as are wishing wells in all likelihood. Um, but we're going to start drawing our decks, and 
uh, how many cards do I have right now? 19. Gardens are probably going to be three points for me by the end of the game. Probably need to go for provinces mostly. But again, well, I don't know. Because you're going to choke on, you're going to choke on them, yeah? Extra buys, um, really extra, extra buys can go for coppers really early on with the apothecaries. Um, so that's a nice, a nice thing. Uh, because it's going to help the apothecaries and it will also help the, the gardens uh, that I think I'm eventually going to want to get. So he's turning all of his estates into wishing wells. And he gets a worker's village. Interesting. Interesting play. This is an easy call. Now he's going to start drawing his whole deck here real soon. I want to get a worker's village quickly. Um, I'm not sure what nice fun tricks he can do with his develop. Um, wishing for a curse. Now I don't know why he didn't particularly want to draw that. I guess it doesn't matter at all, right? He's developing Wishing Well into Lighthouse and Horse Traders. Oh my gosh, how could he miss that? I apologize. Uh, it's probably just a mis misclick or drew or didn't miss that. Anyway, he says, oh duh. Yeah, we all do that. We all have those moments. It do totally doesn't matter anyway because he had the other Wishing Well. Um, now what he'd like to be able to do is horse trader stuff down and then redraw it with later wishing wells and apothecaries, but he is going to need more workers' villages in order to be able to pull that off. Meanwhile, two piles are getting low, and uh, mm -hmm. again, same same thing here. Uh, I don't want to draw into both of those here because, well, the second horse traders just won't do anything for me. So instead, we're going to do this, give myself a pretty good hand next turn. And let's grab the last apothecary and a worker's village. Um, now I have a three-point lead, which helps me defend a little bit against pile endings. How many cards do I have? I have 23, so yeah, these these gardens are definitely going to get to three-point gardens. Um, I want to start greening here real, real soon. In fact, now. Um, So we've built the same engine basically, but he's going for something with horse traders and develop and um, well a little bit of horse traders and, and some develop and more workers villages than me and a, a lighthouse which I really don't know why is there. But maybe just because he needed something to develop into, uh, had to get it. Um, And I'm going something more, uh, more, more different s. Um, but we're both to the drawing our deck stage on turn ten. It's pretty good. Um, I think I want my end game to mostly be gardens. So he's developing the potion. It's totally worthless now. He's got to get a duchy out of it, which he may turn into stuff later on with his develop. Develop actually, I guess, does combo with Wishing Well. I hadn't thought of that. Let's see if he gets it right this time. Yeah, he does. Um, and he's got, what, 8 plus the 3 from his horse traders. That's 11 and a few buys. Province. I expect Wishing Well. We're, oh, 
Oh, the lighthouse. Hmm, interesting. Okay. So, here we want to do this. We're going to wish for the apothecary, which we can draw 100%. Play the worker's village because I don't want to have an, an estate on my deck to this apothecary. Now do this, and we can wish for... Shoot. I have one estate left in my deck, one copper left in my deck, probably mostly apothecaries, yeah? So here we can do this nice little trick of discarding coppers. Well, I could do that trick, but I don't need to, right? I can make sure that these are on my deck for next turn. Hey, that's a nice tactical ploy. Uh, okay. Now, 13... Well, I really want to consider something like Worker's Village, Horse Traders, Gardens. But I'm a little worried about snowballing under points. I think I'm going to do that, though. And, of course, copper. Now, it's only a two-point gardens right now, but it's going to be up to at least three by the end of the game. Uh, let's see, right now I have 27 cards. I'm going to pass three by the end of this turn, really. So, wish for an apothecary. Worker's Village, Apothecary. Uh, definitely want to be able to 100% this. So here we can 100% for the Worker's Village. We can 100% for the Estate, Worker's Village. And didn't draw the whole deck this time. But... We can still, what, gardens, gardens, copper, copper. Gardens develop wishing well, copper. Province Estate, Copper, Copper. Is he going to be able to three-pile me? Nah, five workers' villages is too many. Develop, does that do me any good? Not really. Let's go Gardens, Gardens. Copper, copper. Um, the idea is I want his engine to stall out on his provinces. Now my engine's also going to stall out, but that's much more of a problem for him who barely has any money in his deck than for me. Uh, well, I don't have that much money in my deck either, but I have more horse traders, A, and B, um, he's going for eight, I'm going for four, and eventually five. Got to worry about three piles going off at the wrong time, but... Now, 
Now, my problem is that he has a lot of wishing wells. So that might save him here. And his benefit is he can do this horse traders thing where he puts coppers back and then redraws them off of apothecaries. That's a nice little tactical trick from him. If he doesn't stall out, he's going to win. I'm betting on him stalling out at some point. Uh, but the more I think about it, I've probably made the mistake just because he can just dip for gardens whenever. Um, now, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. And he's got a card that's 13 plus whatever he has in his hand. Shoot, I don't know how many cards that is. He's probably in the 20s upper 20s. Now Scout would be really nice for my deck too because it's going to work well with Apothecary and Wishing Well. The problem is when do I have time to buy it? And the answer is pretty much never. Um, because it would help me clear off the green and it works well with Apothecary and it works well with uh, wishing well, but mm. so he did that develop trick. He's going for horse traders. Interesting. Uh, double province? He can double province probably. Right? That's 5, that's 11, that's, yeah, you can easily double mm. province. need this workers village so I can double play my horse traders. And might as well clear this stuff off my deck in the meantime. Especially since it will be better now that I can totally use it for the horse traders than it will be later on. Gardens, gardens. Now the question is, do I want the Wishing Well? Nah, he can probably 3-pile it if that's the case. I probably really need to go points here. Now, that's 16 points for... wait. Oh, that's, that's 15 points for 5 Gardens. There's still only 3 points, but they're about to kick up to 4. If he can't end it here, I have a very good chance, but probably he can. Did he have first turn or did I have first turn? Yeah, he's definitely outplayed me because the garden's choice was not the best choice. Uh, and three piles likely to end. Oh, uh, yes! Yes, 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 yes. Uh, I should have known that better. But I can't go for this garden because he will be able to end it real soon if I do. So we got to go for the duchy, unfortunately. 37. Um, if I can get up to four point gardens. Hey, hey now. What's he doing? What's he going to do? What you going to do when you come for you? He might be stalling. He might actually be stalling. Okay, definitely want this estate here because the, the horse traders I can't play. So we're going to do this. Yeah. Yeah. 
and province man. If he can't end it this turn, whoo! And it's looking less and less likely that he will be able to, because he's really starting to stall. Um, that was a lucky wish, not a, or maybe it was a skilled wish because he's a really good deck tracker. But um, yeah, and he can set up apothecary wishing well again here. Or, oh, we already had those many Wishing Wells in his hand. That's sort of not good for me, huh? Ooh, I would have played Apothecary before that Worker's Village, I think. I don't really know what he has in his hand, though. But yeah, these, these green cards are starting to make him choke. Uh, well, we'll see. The question is, can he get... 12, 15, that's 7, that's only 10, that is only 10 boys and girls, um, because he needs 15 to end the game off these gardens and wishing wells. I'm on 39 cards right now. Aha! He goes for this stuff. Um, I think I might be able to win this. So, wish for this apothecary. Play this apothecary. Wish for a gardens apothecary. Ew. So, he has two gardens, which means I have five gardens. That's going to be a five-point boost. Plus another four-point boost. He has one too many points for me to be able to end it, doesn't he? Which means I've got to go for this province. Maybe I should have gone for Duchy and Gardens, huh? Would have been one more point. But then he can really get close to ending it, huh? Well, there's a province for him. And I can't really buy this Gardens. Because he'd just need three to get the Wishing Well. Now, hold on, though. Uh, I've discarded two things. Plus one, two, three, four, five, six. That's eight. Nine. Plus, that's 43. Yeah, that's nine. Okay. Yeah, so a very close game. Uh, he's, he's able to win. Um, yeah, I'm not really sure what to say. Maybe I should have gone for more gardens instead of... That was a really interesting one, guys, and a long one, but I think you, I hope you'll find it worth it. You know, I wonder if Thief would have been good here. 
<laughs> Thief and Scout, man. Thief and Scout. Oh, that's so great. Um, you know what? I might annotate this if that's okay with him.